Okay, so how's everybody doing? So this is just a uh, short little episode on just uh, quality versus price in terms of uh, these FMC style box cars uh, that I have here. Please excuse the weathering on some of them. They're just that's just the way my fleet is. I'm I'm you know I repaint them all and weather them, but I just want to talk about just like in relation to Canadian, like this is Canadian prices here and the quality. So I just picked up this car right here. This is a Atherin Roundhouse. It was 39 bucks. Now I couldn't really see through the packaging that well, but I'll tell you right now, when I got it home and I compared it to these cars, which I'll just mention in a moment, this is going back. I'm not paying $40 for a car like this. There's no way. This thing is not even scaleless. The door is fat. It would be probably you know, six inches steel thick and just like there isn't, I mean, look at the bottom of it. There isn't a, a sign of a brake line on there. And that's fine because look at Accurail. It doesn't either, but at least Accurail has the plank and all the details and the stringers. This is a superior car for almost half the money, right? Yeah, okay, I had to add, you know, intermount wheels to it, like metal wheels because it comes with the plastic wheels, but the potential for you know, versus the money. This is a superior car, actually, in terms of scale compared to this. I mean, even these ladders here, like these, uh, like this outside rib spacing is wrong. You know, it's way out here. I just, you know, I just can't accept that. I'm sorry. You know, I mean, maybe some people can, but not me. I mean, I can accept this Acurel if I have to work it over. Yeah, okay, it has molded on grab handles, but so does this, you know. I mean, even the, the stirrups on this are nicer than these ones. Anyway. And, you know, this, you know, the sliding tracks for the doors are toy-like. For 40 bucks Canadian, like 39 No, I'm sorry. Like, this one was about $40 when I bought it some years ago. Just under 40 This is a superior car. This is an Atlas Masterline, right? Older 50-foot uh, double door. Okay. And, I mean... Yeah, it's got all the brake lining and the rivets underneath and the stringers and, you know, the nice ladders separately applied. You know, even the brake handles are scared. I mean, it's a beautiful car, right? For the same money. Over a few years ago? I mean, is that a reflection on the store pricing? I don't know. You know, I don't know what these are worth, these cars, but they're not worth 30 bucks, I'll tell you that. And I paid 40 It's going back. And then there's uh, this car here. These are common. These are common up here for 28 bucks. Their Atlas Master line as well. Really nice scale brake lines and so on. Like these are quite good with the, the floor planks and stringers all in there. And, you know, it, like the separate grab handles, ladders, and excellent car. Excellent car for the money. For $28, the photo etched, you know, platforms at the back or the, or the perforated, you know. Wow, what a car for $28 versus this for $40. There's no comparison between these two cars, between this Atherin Roundhouse and this Atlas Masterline, which is a bit of a misnomer at times too. But anyway, still, right? For $30, 28 Canadian, whatever. And then there's this car here, last but not least, this uh, Fox Valley. Now, I don't know who makes these, if it's this Fox Valley or some other, you know, pr proprietorship company or whatever. But, um, you know, I would say that this is just a step above the... Whoops, the Accurail, or no, it's a step above in terms of brake lines, but not detail, right? So the detail's clearly lacking there. But it comes with KD couplers and intermountain wheels, metal wheels, and the actual scale of this car as an FMC outside rib car is superior to this one. And it even, you know, gives this particular Atlas one a run for its money. And these are 28 bucks. 28 bucks, 26 bucks. This was mid 30s, 35, I think. This 39, 40 bucks. I don't think so. This car is going back. Anyway, I thought I'd leave that with you. Something to chew on. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. <laughs>